This Wednesday, June the 21st, marks the summer solstice. The solstices are the oldest solar festivals that we know of. They were celebrated in some form by nearly every ancient culture. And it comes from the Latin, the sun stands still, because for three days, the sun appears to stand still on the horizon in the sky. So summer solstice or midsummer night marks the longest day and the shortest night of the year. And it's a time to celebrate fullness, outward expansion in the world, the flowering of all that was planted in the spring. The sun is at full power and we celebrate the light, the life, the strength and the inspiration that the sunshine brings. It's a time to feel our own inner fire, our passion for life, our radiate our energy outwards into whatever we want to achieve. And it's a time of abundance, both inner and outer. So traditionally, there would have been bonfires at midsummer night with dancing and music and feasting all night long. Jumping the bonfire is supposed to bring good fortune and may have also been a way of symbolically jumping from the light half into the dark half of the year because from now on the days will begin to get shorter. So you may want to have friends over for music and maybe storytelling around a fire. You may want to jump over it if it's small and you're brave. <laughs> or just to share in the abundance of the season by having friends or family for a meal, maybe with seasonal fruits, seasonal vegetables. And you may also want to make honey cakes or drink mead. Be careful with mead. <laughs> It's strong stuff, but this would honor the bees that are such a symbol of abundance and contribute so much to the fruitfulness of the earth. Other ways to honor the sun are to make a sun altar in your home, decorated with seasonal items, candles. Some like to light a candle before sundown on Midsummer's Eve and keep it burning until sunrise. And of course, lots of people go down to Stonehenge to watch the sunrise over the Heelstone. Um, but if you can't make it to Salisbury, then the sunrise does stream live on the YouTube channel of the English Heritage. This time of year is also a traditional time to gather herbs like St. John's wort, lavender, chamomile, rosemary, yarrow, and also flowers, roses, marigolds, sunflowers, but really any flowers that are red, orange, gold. And perhaps you might like to use them to make a nature mandala, which is a really nice way of connecting with the earth and creating beauty. Or you may like to make um, summer incense or to use them to sweeten a scented bath. Folklore has it that if you put flowers under your pillow on midsummer's night, you will dream of your future love. And finally, since ancient times, this festival has been strongly associated with water. Perhaps because without water at this time of year to balance the fire of the sun, nothing will flourish. Perhaps because this transition time marks the shift from the solar growing light half of the year, the sunny half of the year, into the dark, flowing, watery, feminine half of the year. And one way to mark both the fire and the water at this time is to light candles representing your intentions and then set them afloat in a tub of water, symbolically giving them to your subconscious to work on on your behalf. This can be a really nice way to round off a summer solstice meal together with those you love, coming together to celebrate your achievements and make your plans in community. So whatever you're doing this solstice, I hope you have a beautiful time. I hope your life is abundant. I hope your projects flourish. Like this video if you've enjoyed it. And do subscribe if you'd like to see more. Happy solstice.